Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Lori Fogg, a coal cracker in the kitchen. I was born and raised in western Schuylkill County in Pennsylvania. I have decades of cooking and baking experience and creating family favorites from the anthracite coal region, just like you remember your mom and grandma making. If you're looking for authentic or long-lost coal region recipes that celebrate the blended heritage of Eastern European and Pennsylvania Dutch comfort foods in the Northeast in Pennsylvania, you'll find them here. Before we get started, head on down and hit subscribe and click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos when available. Welcome to my kitchen. Have you ever heard of Boilo, also known to many as the Champagne of the Coal Region? Would you like to know how to make it? Well, come along with me as I walk you through the steps for making Boilo. First off, what is Boilo? Boilo is a potent alcoholic beverage brewed up in anthracite coal region kitchens of northeast Pennsylvania for generations. This fruity sweet drink with the kick of a mine mule more than likely owes its origins here in the coal region to the many Lithuanian immigrants who recreated Krupnikus, a traditional spiced honey liquor that has been consumed in Lithuania for centuries. In years gone by, Boilo was made with moonshine, but today's Boilo makers often use Four Queens, an inexpensive blended whiskey distilled by Laird & Company, Scobieville, New Jersey. For someone wanting to try their hand at making Boilo, or for someone who has never had it or never heard of it, this recipe is a great starting point. So come on and join me while I brew up some champagne of the coal region. Our ingredients are one bottle of Four Queens whiskey, two cups of honey, one liter of ginger ale, four whole oranges and four whole lemons cut in quarters, one teaspoon of whole allspice berries, two tablespoons of dark raisins, one teaspoon of caraway seeds, 12 whole cloves, and 2 whole cinnamon sticks. Okay, so let's get started. I have a large Dutch oven, and I'm going to take the pieces of citrus and squeeze the juice into the pot, but also drop the peel in. We're going to do that with all of our pieces of lemon and oranges. So now we've got everything in the pot. We're going to get ready to add our next ingredients. We'll add our cinnamon sticks, our whole cloves, Our caraway seed, now the allspice, the dark raisins, and our honey. We want to make sure we get all the honey out of our measuring cup, so what helps is a silicone spatula or a spoon. We just don't want to waste anything good, and honey's expensive, so let's not waste it. I'm going to add a liter of ginger ale. This is actually a two liter bottle, so I'll be adding half. Now at this point we have all our ingredients in except for the alcohol that comes at the end. Give the pot a light stir. Try and get the honey to mix up a little bit before we put it on the heat. Now we add heat to the pot. We want to bring this up to a boil first and then reduce it to a rapid simmer. Our pot's coming to a boil now and this is what we're looking for. We're going to cook this for about 20 to 25 minutes we're looking for an amber color. We want to reduce the heat now and bring it down to a continuous simmer. 
placing a colander over a large bowl, we've poured the boil oil mixture into the strainer. Sorry, I forgot to get that on video. Taking the back of a spoon, press the back of the fruits to try to get as much of the moisture out as we can. Don't have to go crazy with this part, but we want to get all the good stuff. This will help strain out the solids and the spices. Okay, once we have this done, we're going to discard these pieces of fruit and spices. We now have our strained liquid in another bowl, which we will pour back into our cooking pot. At this point, the boil of syrup is finished. We have the color that we're looking for, nice amber color. At this point, we're getting ready to add the alcohol. And of course, it's Four Queens, the preferred boilo maker's choice. The recipe calls for adding the entire bottle of Four Queens. You could adjust it to your taste, but I recommend adding the bottle since the whole idea of boilo is to get that little kick. I'll just gently stir the mixture to distribute the four queens, and there it is. Boilo, the champagne of the coal region. Boilo is served warm, often kept simmering on the back of a stove when family and friends come to call for the holiday seasons. I found these great little mason jars that I thought were perfect for this. They're actually salt and pepper shakers with the lids removed. I'll add a link to where you can purchase those down below in the comments. Cheers everybody!